Hey there, everybody. Today I am making a uh, video on these two different aqua piston canisters to uh, showcase the rather interesting uh, finds that I have found with these. Because um, I was just dicking around testing with this uh, Walworth Ingenium trying to make an abomination. Because we know everybody likes to shit on the aqua pistons. It's no secret that they're not very well liked within the community. But uh, I've actually uh, come across a rather interesting uh, finding with these two cylinders. Um, this uh, yellow one right here, it actually says aqua piston on it. My camera will focus. Uh, come on. There it goes. Um, I believe these came with the Cimarron. And this uh, more bland canister came with the Walworth and Highlines. But, um... I have found that the one, the yellow one, actually stays open a good bit longer than the red one. And I believe that is uh, because if you compare the holes on these, um, the holes are a lot more restrictive on the yellow one than they are on this uh, red one here. You can see that the openings in these, let me get it to focus, are a bit larger than the uh, openings on this one. Um, and I've also found that, um, and if I get it to focus here, if you, uh, leave the toilet running and you let it overflow into here, this one will drain out much faster than this one. The, um, because normally it's supposed to fill the bottom of the canister up until it reaches that little, uh, nudge there where it goes over and down. But, um, if you just let it fill up the bottom half of the cup and then shut the water off, these will drain out a good bit faster, and that's because these holes are larger here compared to the, uh, the one I'm going to refer to as a simmer on aqua piston. This one takes probably about twice as long to drain out. So, um, when you, uh, if you go to Lowe's and you buy an aqua piston from Lowe's, you'll get the uh, yellow one with the two inch uh, flush valves, and you'll get this more bland, you know, the Walworth and Highline style if you have to, if you buy the three inch flush valve variant. Um, because the Class 5 had a 2-inch and a 3-inch. And uh, if you're thinking about buying a Class 5, please go for the 2-inch flush valve model. Because getting a 3-inch flapper, if uh, you so decide to go down that route, into the 3-inch model is a pain in the ass because they made it non-standard. The hole is a little bit larger than the standard 3-inch flap. But anyways, uh, I'm going to showcase my findings here. And you'll see that this one will stay open a good bit longer. Um, I'm going to go ahead and drop the... Um, this uh, aqua piston into this uh, Walworth Ingenium here, and uh, we're going to go ahead and test it, and I'm going to compare these two and the flushes that they give. So I will be back here in just a minute with this filled up in the uh, this aqua piston in. All right, I am back, and I've got the uh, Highline slash Walworth aqua piston installed, and um, I'm actually going to let it overfill into here to elaborate on what I was explaining before is um if you uh it's going to overflow now and you see it'll fill up that bottom half of the canister now i'm going to go ahead and flush it you see how quickly it drained that uh, canister out um you will notice i'm going to do the same thing with uh this one over here and you'll notice that it'll drain the water out much slower so, I'm going to be back here in just a second when this is filled up, and I'm going to give you a uh, test flush. Alright, tank is about full. I'm going to let it get up to that 1.6 line. There it goes. Here's flush. You can see it didn't drain a whole lot of water out, there, out of the tank, and the flush was uh, rather short. Um, which is typical for these aqua pistons to provide a very short flush. And with the way the Class 5 is designed, it's supposed to be a, what I would refer to as a very high-flow toilet, meaning it's going to drain the water out of here very fast. And the aqua piston is supposed to help, you know, lessen the resistance, I guess, compared to a standard flapper. But, um, throw a rag in here just for shits and giggles. You can see it take a rag. Here it goes. So, yeah, as you can see, very short flush with this aqua piston. And, um, just behaves like your typical aqua piston. But I'm going to put the, uh, the yellow one in here, and you'll see, you'll notice a good bit of a difference. 
I'll be back here in just a second. Alright, I am back, and I have the uh, yellow aqua piston installed. Um, this one is now out, and uh, I'm going to let it fill up, and I'll uh, show you that this one actually does stay up a bit longer compared to this type of aqua piston. Um, and the main reason why I'm even making this video is because I know a lot of people have the, the big 3-inch flush valve Walworth and Highlines that you can't easily swap a 3-inch flapper into. I've done it. And if you do it just right, it'll work, but oftentimes you can have a bit of a pain getting it to seal. And um, so installing one of these that stays open a bit longer could actually be a bit of a save for some people that want a bit of a longer flush. So, let me fill the bowl back up, trying to get it so it doesn't overflow, because otherwise it'll shut real early. So, I'll be back when the tank is refilled. Alright, tank is almost filled up, and I'm going to give a uh, tank and a bowl view flush. Here, there we go, up to the waterline, let's go. You can see how much longer that stayed up. That probably stayed up about twice as long as this canister here. Which allows the toilet to have a much more thorough flush. And, um, in my opinion, like I was saying before, it's a pretty good, um, pretty good godsend to those who are um, stuck with the 3-inch Walworth Highland Class 5s and can't put a flapper valve in there. Um, if you get one of these that comes with the 2-inch flush valves, it will stay open a bit longer and it'll give it a longer flush. I'm going to, uh, I'm actually going to flush the larger of the rags here. Here it is. Just so you can see. There we go. Closed a little bit early, but that's because it overfilled into this canister a little bit. But you can see it's still hanging onto that water, which is another point that I was making before. Is that these canisters, um, when it over, you know, the water overflows into it, it drains out a lot slower. Um, so these canisters do stay open a bit longer. Um, but yeah. Um, if my uh, mind will work, I'll make words. Um, the, you know, putting one of these in the three inch Walworth slash Highlines will give you probably, you know, a good bit better of a flush. Now, it's still gonna fall shut a good bit faster in a uh, typical class five. You know, there's, there's no fixing that. That's just the design of the toilet, but it will stay open noticeably longer than this well in the same situation. So, if you uh, need a better, longer flush in a Class 5, then try one of these uh, aqua pistons that's meant for the Cimarron. It'll help you out. As you can see, um, I'll let it fill up here just a second. Um, provides a decently long enough flush for a uh, Walworth Ingenium. So... The final final point of this video is um, if you have one of those goofy ones with the extra large uh, seat in the bottom and, you know, it's got a metal bracket in here and you can't put a normal flush valve in it, get one of these. It'll probably help you out a little bit if you're looking for a longer flush. It won't be quite as long as if you are to get a flapper in there and adjust it to the max water flow, but it will help. And, um, you know, it will at least let you get a little more usability out of your class 5 without having to just hold the handle down so i didn't really know there was a difference in aqua pistons but actually there is yeah, very interesting but i'm gonna go ahead and end this video with a flush because it's already this video is already long enough so here goes I did hold the handle down for that one, of course. So, anyways, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And to uh, the 3-inch uh, Class 5 owners, I hope you found this uh, tip useful. If you uh, got Class 5 one of these, put one of those in it. It'll make the flush better. Anyways, see you guys later.